Waking up to find out that something you now rely upon in your home has failed overnight is not something you want to experience on a work day. Suddenly you are the tech support department as others in your household start questioning why things aren't working or performing as they should. Well, this is something that recently happened to me with Home Assistant, and in this video, I'm gonna explain what happened and how I finally managed to fix it. Hey everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek, a channel that's all about Home Assistant and smart home technology. Now, this video is a little different. It's not a review. It's not about dashboards or automations. It's a little story about what happened to my Home Assistant smart home a few weeks ago. Now, I'm sure I could have done many things differently to what I finally did. And I'm in no way bashing a Home Assistant here. It's purely just me explaining what happened and how I resolved it in the hope that it helps someone else who might experience a similar situation. So a few weeks ago, I woke up and went down to the kitchen to make a coffee and I suddenly realised that my smart wing shades had not opened and my cat was looking at me like I decided to abandon him. Clearly his Akara pet feeder had not done its job that morning. I quickly pulled out my mobile phone and loaded the Home Assistant app only to be greeted with this screen. Not a great start to the day and worst of all this was a work day and I didn't have much time to start diagnosing the problem so I quickly ran back upstairs and rebooted my Nook and prayed that Home Assistant would come back online. When you're not in the house all day long and you've got automation set up, failures like this are the stuff of nightmares. So between juggling getting ready for work and checking the Home Assistant app, eventually everything came back online. Great, I thought. It must have just been a blip at some point overnight. So I fed the cat and I left for work. The following day, I woke up and checked the Home Assistant app only to find the same error on my screen. This had me really confused as it was working perfectly the night before. So what could be causing this to happen? Bad RAM, a bad drive, who knows? But again, another work day and I needed things to start working as soon as possible. So I rebooted the Nook and waited for Home Assistant to come back up. Thankfully, everything was working again. That evening, as I subscribed to Nebucasa, I tried disabling my Wi-Fi connection on my phone and connecting to Home Assistant via my 4G connection. This time, I got a slightly different error that there was a problem with the certificate on the system. I did a bit of Googling around to see what might be causing the problem here. And one suggestion was that the time might be out on the Nook. Others mentioned the bad memory or a bad disk. A quick check of the logs in Home Assistant and sure enough, I noticed that one of them seemed to be one hour out. So as I run Home Assistant headless, I had to hook up a keyboard and monitor and boot it into the BIOS of the Nook. And there it was, the time was one hour out. So I updated that and rebooted, went to bed happy in the knowledge that this might have been the cause of the problem and everything was sorted but just like the scene out of Groundhog Day, that following morning, sure enough, Home Assistant was not responding. And again, it was another work day. So all I could do was reboot the Nook and hope that everything was fine afterwards. Fortunately, it was the start of the weekend the following day. So I managed to get some time to look into the problem. A bit more of a trawl through the logs and I could see that Home Assistant was mentioning there was a problem with the database. So I renamed it and let Home Assistant build a new one as it started back up and left it running during the day only to find that it had stopped a couple of hours later. After working through some more of the posts on the Home Assistant forum, I decided to look at some of the things I'd installed via hacks. After all, they show up in the logs as not being official integrations and could potentially cause instability. I started disabling a few of the ones I'd seen issues with previously, thought that that might potentially be the cause of the problem. They weren't critical to my setup, so I could live without them for a while if there was a problem. Unfortunately, that didn't last long and the problem returned, but it was at this point that I realized that rather than 
powering off the NUC, I could just restart it by typing into the command line. After that reboot, I decided to disable pretty much all the items I'd installed via hacks and any add-ons that I had installed as well. And yes, you guessed it, the problem still happened. I was now seriously thinking I was going to have to do a fresh install of Home Assistant, but with a full-time job, I just wasn't going to have enough time to do this during the week, and I'd have to hobble along until I had enough time to spend on it. What was odd with this whole problem was that the Home Assistant CLI was there. The Observer URL was working as well, but it was just Home Assistant wasn't serving up its UI. It was at this point that I started employing ChatGPT to analyze the logs from Home Assistant. It was telling me a lot of what I already knew. It highlighted some of the integrations from hacks that had errors, but they were now disabled but it also suggests that there might have been a problem with Home Assistant Core. After a bit of digging around, I found I could just restart Core via the CLI, and in trying that, it brought everything back up in a couple of seconds, a lot quicker than a full reboot. And over the course of the working week, I'd become adept at typing this in without my monitor being connected all the time. Each day I was trying out more and more different things when finally I got to the point of starting Home Assistant in safe mode, the last resort. Now being in safe mode would allow automations to work, but I'd pretty much lose everything on dashboards. I went to bed and woke in the morning to find the shades in the kitchen were open. I heard the tinkle of biscuits being dispensed from the pet feeder. Was it all really still running? I quickly loaded the Home Assistant app on my mobile phone, and yes, it was. Okay, this was starting to get interesting. This meant it wasn't necessarily hacks, integrations, or add-ons causing the problem. A new update to Home Assistant Core became available. I quickly installed it in hope that maybe there had been a problem and it had been fixed, but no, sadly that didn't solve anything, so it was back into safe mode, and I ran it like that for a few days, and sure enough, everything was stable again. At this point, I switched out of safe mode and disabled the core integrations, those that come with Home Assistant, and sure enough, Home Assistant stayed up. So one by one, they were enabled, checking the logs to see if anything was showing up, but also praying that Home Assistant would just continue to work. I'd got to a point where most of the integrations were now enabled, and Home Assistant was still stable. Now, during all of this, in everything I had been reading, everyone referred to looking at the Home Assistant log file. You can open it in the file editor just, uh, you know, at a normal regular text file in your Home Assistant folder. But it was at this point that I also noticed a Home Assistant log fault file. So I opened that up, but it just looked like a load of repeated thread information regarding Python. I pasted it into ChatGPT and it noticed that there was a segmentation fault that was occurring in a specific Python library. Its continued analysis eventually determined that this was coming from the fast.com integration and it eventually noted that it was incompatible with a particular version of Python's SSL library. Armed with this information, I re-enabled everything except the fast.com integration and rebooted Home Assistant. And over the next 24 hours, Home Assistant remained stable. Everything was working as expected. I left things as they were, and sure enough, in the following days and weeks, there's not been a repeat of the problem, and Home Assistant has been completely stable. However, the fast.com integration remains disabled. Now, looking at the GitHub open issues for the fast.com integration, I can see that others have now raised this as a problem as well. There is mention that other integrations might be interfering with the timing that the fast.com integration is a little sensitive. So it may not be the single culprit, but for now, I'm happy to leave it disabled and keep my Home Assistant system running happily. So there you go. Since I've been using Home Assistant, that's the first time I've had a problem that's been that serious. Has it put me off Home Assistant? Absolutely not. Have I learned a lot more about Home Assistant? 100% definitely. I'm sure some of you might be thinking, well, why didn't you just restore a backup? Well, that would have been a position of last resort in this instance. I'd done so much work 
prior to this that I didn't want to risk losing that with restoring to an alternative point in time. I think the other thing to note here is the power of using something like ChatGPT in all of this. I know it gets things wrong sometimes, as it did with some of the earlier conversations I had in diagnosing the problem, but using it together did eventually get to the root cause of the problem. Have you been through a similar experience to this? If so, how did you resolve it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help and lets other people get to see this video as well. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.